What's going on guys? This is Lation from Lation Scripts and today we are going over our latest release, Modern UI. This is a completely brand new category uh, for me and um, this is simply a pack of various interface components that really, really make your server stand out. Um, think of this similar to like the Oxlib interface components such as the alert dialog, input dialog, notifications, text UI, skill check, progress bar, context menu, and all that's in here in this pack but has been beautifully redesigned to look modern, clean, professional, and just really transform the look and feel of your server and make it feel real, real quality. Um, so one quick thing is we didn't recreate the wheel here in terms of like how these components work. We based it very much of off how Oxlib works just so compatibility and updating your scripts to use this will be so simple it'll take like three seconds. For example, let's take a context menu. To register and show a context menu in Oxlib, it's lib.registerContext and lib.showContext. If you want to change an Oxlib menu to ours, all you got to do is change that line to our export and it's done. Everything else will work. So we've tried to maintain that throughout many components like the progress bar, the alert dialog, so on and so forth. So this is really easy for you to use. On top of that, to make it even easier, all our scripts already support this on our store as well as more creators coming soon, if not supporting it already just a little quick mention such as jg scripts wasabi samuel development some of these may already have support for this in their scripts if not reach out to us we'll do what we can to help you out there and also encourage others to add support just to make this even easier for you so uh with all that said let's start looking at some of these components i got a weed plant here from my very famous weed growing script and we're going to look at this menu in action so here it is first look uh much much upgraded design style and feel you got this nice little footer press escape to close total number of menu options this only shows up if there's more options than are immediately visible you see this ninth option here um, also it supports metadata images icons can be replaced with custom images everything the oxlib menu supports this supports and more you'll notice over here these little key binds w a s this is a really cool feature where uh, these are real key binds so if you just want to do a quick action open this menu press w bang it'll perform that action of that menu item so these are really nice and if i tap a now i'll go right to fertilizing these are just really nice quality of life upgrades that i always wish existed um so yeah that's the menu i even made a test menu command so we can see even more demos so for example, this is a really large menu to show you the scrolling and the page, or rather menu items. Uh, we got progress bar demos here. All the progress bars can be colored. Uh, icons can be colored with animations. All the features we're familiar with, but even look so much better in this menu. Of course, you got the on select, client events, server events. Um, you got normal options, disabled options, read only, uh, and of course, multi-level menus. So you can navigate as always and escape to close. And so that's our menu, which I think just really gives a polished and premium feel when it's being used. Now, real quick. If you notice down here, I'm using the recently released JG HUD, which I think just matches these this style amazingly. I think all this flows together real good. I, I personally judge many servers on, you know, their interfaces sometimes. Yeah, I think this is just 
feels great. It looks good and would really add a level of premium to the server. Um, so that's our menu uh, component at a, in a at a quick glance. There's many more. We also have, of course, notifications, but nothing too special. Nothing too special here. Notifications are just simply notifications. You got your base types and custom styling and all that good stuff. Nothing crazy there. Um, but I think do look a little more improved and match the coloring and everything of all the other components here. So we going to our alert. We have multiple types of alerts. Well, it's one type, but you can specify a type like a notification. Default, destructive, and success. So if we look at just a default alert dialog, this is what that looks like. Now, this just looks great when it's used in combination with these menus. For example, if we click destroy, here's that alert dialog in action. Just a default alert dialog. Um, but you can also specify the type. So if we do error, this is the destructive type, which will update the button color to be, you know, a warning, destructive action, stuff like that. And there's also a success type, which will obviously update the button color. Icons and icon colors and all that can be changed, of course. Um, labels can be changed, so on and so forth. We also have the input menu, which can be built to your needs. These are great for things like job applications or whatever. You know, we all use input dialogues in many areas. Um, you got all the typical options, required, min, max, you know, so you can really hone in the options players can input. So you got your typical text input, you got a number input that supports scrolling, or of course, you know, your buttons. Uh, a select drop down so you can select an option with a search bar which is really nice for those long lists um, there's been a few cases in which I've had a really long list and scrolling can be annoying but we can just type anything and find our option the search bar here is optional so if you don't want the search bar for example in such a small list you may not need that you can disable it in that option you got simple toggles and of course a slider which you can customize the actual unit that's used here. That could be a dollar sign or whatever. Um, so yeah, if we were to use this, we'll put our notifications off, volume, say 100%. Say we live in Canada and we're like, uh, let's say we're really old, 77 years old and hit save. But username is required, so we gotta put a username in there. And if we submit this, it works like anything else. All the results are then available um, so that's our input dialog there's many more options you, you know the multi-select color all that good stuff exists here just looks way better um, so with that was the context menu our notifications alert input we also have a progress bar which we saw over here when we water the plant that's our base progress bar that's included in here as well but there's a special feature about this that I want to showcase separately, and that's uh, our multi-step feature. There's been a few instances in which I wish I could update the progress bar as it went along for more long duration actions, and I'll show you what I mean by that. You can, uh, you with this progress bar, you can add multiple steps, and watch how nice this comes out. So you see a little step indicator in the top right there and the text is updating as it goes along, which is a really cool feature, I think, for things such as hacks and whatnot. So, of course, you see all the different colors here, the icons colored, the bars colored, you can update all the colors, icons, you can support icon animation. So this progress bar, of course, is really customizable and works just like Oxlip's progress bar, has animation support, prop support all that good stuff just like the menus to change an oxlib progress bar to a la uh, lation ui progress bar you just got to change lib.progress bar to our export and you're off to the races so that's our progress bar we also have a really nice skill check this is probably one of my favorites and i'll let you see why this and i just drew i messed up right from the door w s a just like anything else 
This is a fully customizable skill check. Make it as easy or as hard or as quick or long as you want. And you can update the title in this component. So if this was for, say, lockpicking a vehicle, you can update that title that says skill check to lockpicking or whatever action they're doing. So I think this is a really nice looking skill check and really adds a great feel to things. And of course, you have the results of the skill check. Um, I guess last but not least, I think we covered most of them would be the text UI. And we can actually see some of that in more action. Let's let's actually go use it. Let's say in metal detecting. If you guys don't have our metal detecting script, this is a fantastic script to have. Really social activity, a uh, lot of fun. Um, anyway, you can see the skill check here now. This is just a base skill check layout, or sorry, text UI. We also have a keybind option. It'll automatically pull keybinds out of the text if it's wrapped in brackets, similar to how JG text UI works and it'll display it in a nice keybind section. Um, and of course, icon color and all that can be changed and has markdown support, just like the menu and so on and so forth. But here we go. Here's our menu in action again in our metal detecting script with the image option and metadata with the progress bars, so on and so forth. And we'll also see our alert dialog in action again with the customizable labels. And apparently I don't have enough money. So well, let me get some money so I can buy this. And there's our alert dialog. So there we saw our menu, our alert, our text UI. And now we can see it just a little bit more in action here as we metal detect on the beach. <clears throat> so this is a really simple I guess I don't want to call it simple but I guess it's simple in terms of design UI pack that I feel adds such a level of such an upgraded level to a server's look and feel now let me find this item real quick because this has got me going let's see no there it is all right so yeah that's various components in action oh we can actually see a more simple alert or input dialog if we go to sell this item real quick so if we go in here and we go to sell this item you'll see our input dialog with just a simple number input type and of course the max is one because we only have one and there's that and oh, while we're here, we can sell some drugs and see the drug menu with our metadata hovers and all that good stuff. Um, so, yeah, I think that showcases this modern UI resource pretty well. Uh, I hope you guys like it. Uh, please let me know what you think in the comments, anything we can improve on or additional components we can add. I, I am excited to grow this interface pack into more than just what it is now but already i think it's fantastic and completely can transform your server's entire interfaces so again this is supported in all our scripts already you can buy this right now on late atlation scripts.com for 6.99 and you get all these components um and there's more support coming from other creators soon so with that said Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you in the next one.